Hello everyone, my name is Light Trooper and welcome back to a, another video. Today I'm showing you guys how to set up and install a Cubicore 5M server in 2025. First thing you guys are going to want to do is hit the first link down in the description below. That'll bring you guys right here to the 5M Artifacts download page. All you guys are going to want to do is click this top one right here with the blue download link. Ignore the latest recommended, the latest optional. This hasn't been updated for years. So always just download the top one that is blue. That is actually the latest optional file and always go with the latest it doesn't really make much of a difference but once you guys have done that you'll see it starts downloading and just open it on up using a zip opener and once you guys have done this all you guys are going to need to do is minimize it to your desktop we're going to right click new folder and we're going to call it 5m server we're going to open this on up we're going to right click in here new folder and we're going to call this one server files and inside of here, we're going to grab all of these files we just downloaded, control A, and drag and drop them into that server files folder. Once you guys have done that, you can close the zip on down, and we can return back to our desktop. And now the next step is going to be going down to the description below again, and opening up the second download link, which will bring you guys right here to the download for XAMP. XAMP is basically something which allows us to run a database for our 5M server, and a database is something that a cubicle server requires since it's got a lot more going on than a basic CFX default 5M server. So download XAMP by just clicking download right here. All you got to do is run the EXE and just install it. There's nothing complicated at all. It's just downloading a normal application. Once you guys have XAMP installed, we're going to open it on up. It looks like a little orange application with a white X in the middle. And then you guys are going to want to hit start next to Apache and MySQL like I have here. So you just click start on Apache and start on MySQL. Once we've done this, we can minimize that or close it. It will still be running in the background. Open our 5M server folder, go to server files, scroll on down until we find this guy right here, fxserver.exe. We're gonna double click this to open the server on up. If it pops up with this, just click more info and run anyway. It's gonna pop up with our server console. And then immediately after, it's going to pop up with a TXAdmin browser page, which is essentially where we manage our server from. It's going to autofill the code, hit link account. And from here, you're just going to want to sign in to your CFX.re account. If you haven't got one, simply make one and then come back to this page. Hit continue. And now it's going to ask you to create a backup password. So do anything that you want, as long as you guys will remember it. That's the key thing, since if you can't log into your CFX.re account, this is how you'll do it otherwise. Make the password and click register. From here, we're going to hit next and we're going to pick ourselves a server name. I'm going to do HDN Cubicore. You can do anything you want. It doesn't make any difference. From here, hit next. And in the deployment type, we're going to go to popular recipes. And instead of selecting CFX default or ESX legacy, we're going to select the third one down. It's going to be Cubicore framework. Click this. Don't mess with this. Leave it as it is and hit save. From here, go to recipe deployer, hit next. And right now it's going to take you to the license key input. So we're going to click this green hyperlink right here for Keymaster. Verify you're a human. Come to the Keymaster page and sign in again to the same CFX.re account. This video is sponsored by my new website, HTNetwork.1, your one-stop shop for all your 5M server needs. We offer 5M server hosting to make sure you guys can keep your 5M server running 24-7 and not put your IP address on display for the public to see. And we also offer pre-built 5M server packages where using the exclusive HD Network application, you can make a fully modded 5M server with 120 plus mods in just one click. You can check all of that out down in the description below by using the link www.hdnetwork.1. I'm going to delete one key for the sake of the video, but you guys will probably have none or maybe one from the previous video. We're going to go to a new server in the left here. Anything you want. I'm just going to do HTN. I'm not a robot and generate yourself a key. Copy the key, come back to TX admin and paste the key on in. And now if you guys don't have XAMP installed with MySQL and Apache running, if you try and hit run recipe now, it's going to block you because you don't have it running and there's no database for it to connect to. But if you have it running and we hit run recipe, you guys will see it's going to start downloading and installing all the basic Cubicore framework application into our 5M server for us. Just going to let it do its thing and give it a couple of minutes and we'll be back. Okay, so once it's done, it's going to pop up with a little Cubicore framework folder in your file explorer. Just close that on down for now and then go back to TX admin and hit next. This is going to be your server.cfg and this is basically the settings for your 5M server. So this is where it input your key automatically for you. This is where you can edit the name. Usually I'd recommend like deleting this bit out of it because you don't really want all this basic, you know, pillar information. Just get rid of this. 
You can also edit it if you wanted to, and obviously the product description as well. And then here you can also edit the logo. So you can add your own logo in here into the file directory. It's pretty self-explanatory, and here is where you run mods, which we will cover in the later video. So be sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you guys are staying tuned for that one. But all we got to do from here is click save and run server. And now technically, our 5M server is ready to go. But quickly, I'm just going to show you guys a little bit of the basics of a 5M server. So we're going to minimize the desktop and we're going to open up that 5M server folder. And what I'd recommend doing here, just to make your life easier, we're going to right click on the start default dot back, create a shortcut and name it start server. And then we're going to right click new shortcut. I'm going to grab the link for TX admin. So control C that, come back to the shortcut and just paste it in. And then we're going to name that TX admin. And there you guys go. So whenever you need to launch TX admin, double click the shortcut. Whenever you need to launch a server, double click that start server. Obviously, if the server is already running, you're not going to be able to run the server. It's going to give you an error. But anyways, so if we go inside of the TX data folder, and we're only going to have one folder in here unless the first run of the TX admin recipe failed. In that case, delete the old basic folder. Go inside of that cubicle framework folder. Here is your server.cfg, the file we were just talking about. Here's the logo. So if you want to replace the logo, call it the exact same thing and make sure it's around the same size of 2.16 kilobytes and also 96 by 96 pixels. Server.cfg backups, that's a backup in case you mess up anything. And then in the resources folder is all of our mods. So this is where we add the mods in and this is where the basic ones are contained. So that's a little rundown of your 5M server. But since I'm running my 5M server on a server host with HT Network on my website on a VPS right here, I don't need to port forward, so I can join it straight away, which you guys will be able to do anyway if you're running it on your own PC. You yourself can join it, but other people won't be able to. Be sure to check out my video on port forwarding in order to let other people join. But to join our 5M server, we're going to load up 5M and connect using our IP. So once you've loaded up 5M, if you guys are running this on your own PC, all you guys need to do is click under here, around here by play or on this bit area. You've just got to click connect to LAN, and then that'll connect you to the 5M server, which is hosted on your own PC. Alternatively, you can press F8 and type connect, and then you can type local host, and that will also connect you to the server running on your own PC. But if like me, you're running it on a VPS from HT network, so you don't have to use your own IP address on display, etc. link down in the description below. All you guys got to do is type connect in the F8 menu and paste your VPS IP address. Hit enter, and just like that, you guys can see we're connecting to our 5M server, and Cubicore by default does have its own loading screen, which is great. And we can load into the server and actually get RPing with Cubicore since it has the full economy. When you first load in, you'll be asked to make a character. So just create a character, name it whatever you guys want. It literally doesn't make any bit of difference or the age or anything. Just create the character and then it'll ask you where you want to spawn. Pick a spawn place. This will be the apartment. And it's pretty self-explanatory from here. All the key bindings you can view by going to the Cubicore documents page. I'll also leave a link to that down in the description below so you guys are aware on how to play the server, make a character, and then you can also leave your apartment by walking up the door, pressing E, and hit leave apartment. And there you guys go. Just like that, you've set up a basic Cubicore framework. Obviously, everything is pretty self-explanatory if you use that documentation link down in the description below for all the key binds. It's tab for inventory and Z for your hotbar and you've got alt for your third eye etc it's pretty easy to get the hang of this is going to be the basic cubicle framework you know it looks pretty simple inventory especially and especially the third eye and things like that if you guys do want a fully modded custom cubicle 5 and server then be sure to check out my website hdnetwork.one down in the description below where you can get one for as little as 45 dollars one-time payment and you can install all of it automatically using the exclusive hg network auto installer application it's really easy to do so and you'll have a fully modded custom cubicore server at that point as well so be sure to check that out down in the description below at www.hgnetwork.one and i'll see all of you guys in the next video cheers and goodbye